I know what you're gonna say, I know what I've got to do, is Kakuryu's message as he pulls out of November 2020, his third withdrawal in a row. My hips and back are still no good, not fully recovered. I can't go in and compete like this. The 35-year-old claims there was a stage in the past few weeks where his back was improving. But, in his words today, I was like, great, let's get cracking. I got carried away, overdid it, and aggravated the problem. Asked about his impending warning from the Yokozuna Council, and any possible punishment that might follow, he said, I know they're going to say things, but let me assure you, I'm absolutely not thinking of sitting out January, and I want to make sure I'm ready for it. I know I've got to deliver. It's well known this Yokozuna wants to be back in the gym and fighting wrestlers from other stables. He blames the virus for preventing both these things from happening, and is prepared to defend the line if the virus wasn't here, I would be ready to compete now, so please give that special consideration. As chairman of the wrestlers' committee, he clearly wants to widen the virus debate, and argue that it's not only wrestlers testing positive who are disadvantaged. But, I feel, he rather undermined his own case by turning up in July, when virus restrictions were much tighter than now. We'll do a deeper dive in due course. There was no news from Camp Hakuho until 6pm today. Even then, it was from his coach, and even so, nothing concrete. We can't say yet, were Coach Miyagino's exact words. I know it will be three successive withdrawals if he sits this one out, in which case he must put it all on the line in January. Sadly, I can't recall a recent occasion on which a Yokozuna has delayed a decision on competing until the morning the fixtures are published, and then announced he will take part in the tournament after all. And I wonder if there could be something more political here. That Hakuho at least part feels like pulling out to protect Kakuryu, in what looks like an ever-intensifying feud with the Yokozuna Council. It must have rankled when that council slammed his Day 14 pullout in January last year, while praising Kiseno Sato, just forced into humiliating retirement, as a splendid Yokozuna. I think that's where all this started, and the longer it goes on, the worse the council begins to look, because its archaic rules and customs are really not fit to deal with these kinds of situations. Again, we will dive deeper after the tournament. However slim the chances may be then, I'm still hoping that Hakuho does compete. Of course I am. In a few hours' time, when those opening fixtures come out, we will know.